So I thought I'd go ahead and give an update on the mobile application. Here you can see the loading screen coming up. And once it's done loading, it'll go to the main menu. <clears throat> As you can see at the top, there uh, are tabs for the nodes. Oh, that came up too early. There's a tab for the nodes, the task, and accounting. Uh, eventually, over time, we'll probably add more tabs as things get along. But as you can see for the main menu, <clears throat> I have some sample data, some sample systems put in there. Most of them are just clones of each other. But the default will pop up where it lists the nodes and it lists the uh, system ID. So here would be a system ID. These are the nodes that are attached to that system. It tells you whether they're public or private, whether they're enabled or disabled. Little description there. Um, eventually, I will put a alias for the node IDs and system IDs so that you can call them something instead of this auto-generated number. <clears throat> but currently, you know, you can click on them right there, and then it'll compress the list. And click on it again, and it'll uncompress the list. Uh, there's a couple options where currently, if you click on a single node, you just click once. It'll pop up a new dialog that will have the system, the node ID there, and it will have some, some sample data. Um, currently, I'm still working on getting the plot to look nicer and formatting and things, but uh, you'll be able to scroll through like previous history and things like that. Uh, so if you're monitoring water temperature, humidity and stuff, you can generate plots based on that. Uh, so if you go back, there's also options. If you click and hold, that will bring up the options menu. There's new, edit, delete, and filter results. Currently, new, edit, and delete don't really do anything yet. I still have to put those uh, activities together. But the filter results, I put in the ability for you to filter <clears throat> based on different uh, tags here. So default is the system ID. So nodes that are grouped in a system, it'll filter by those. You could filter by just the node ID, <clears throat> which will just list them all, the public and private, and then enabled or disabled. So if you go ahead and click something like Enabled, Disabled, it'll refilter the list by all your systems that are currently enabled and then the ones that are disabled, you know. So, finally got around to doing that. Uh, it was kind of annoying that uh, I wasn't able to filter any of the nodes, but, you know, click and hold, go to Filter Results, and then choose something like Public, Private, and the IDs change from public to private and then you know all the public are grouped together and all the private. Uh, currently tasks doesn't have anything really implemented that's just the boilerplate uh, and accounting also has some sample accounting ones uh, I'm currently going to be working on that probably next um, and let's see what else do they have. Come back to the nodes. There's a drop down menu at the top here that have feeds, friends, and about. Those are just some boilerplate uh, functions, uh, callbacks, I guess. So eventually there will be other things of logging in, logging out, about, uh, adding, deleting new nodes, things like that. So that's the current state of the mobile application.